Today uh, we're going to look at utilising liver 3, which is going to be our point of the week, and how liver 3 can be utilised in order to address musculoskeletal uh, disorders. Liver 3 is actually located two sons proximal to the first and second metatarsal pharyngeal joint, more so to the actual web space. So it's mainly found within the hollow or between the first and second met shaft. It's also located in the first uh, interossei muscle, which is also a trigger point. This trigger point can be utilised uh, and refer pain over the first, uh, or should I say, over the second metatarsal flangeal joint and into the second digit. So it is quite a common trigger point. Now needling, uh, in order to needle both the acupuncture point and also needle the trigger point as well, you're going to needle it in a slightly lateral direction um, so therefore you're going to penetrate into the muscle you'll go approximately between 1 and 1.5 centimeters uh, or 1 to 1.5 sun into the area Stimulation wise is going to be more of a gentle, moderate stimulation depending as to what you're actually treating. Uh, liver 3 is also a trigger point and therefore it can address uh, pain within the lesser metatarsal, more so the second metatarsal. Now, key things as to what liver 3 can actually be utilised, there's a whole range of things from a musculoskeletal uh, viewpoint. Now, one of the main things is it's a liver meridian which mainly relates to muscles more so muscle activity or even muscle tear so if there's a muscle tear anywhere within the body itself then this is going to be a point of choice and it's quite an effective point for that what you will find is if there's a muscle tear anywhere in the uh, body particularly in the lower limb and you palpate that point that will actually be tender sprains and strains of the lower back again you will find that point is quite an effective point in acute cases or subacute cases of low back pain uh, and again, if it's knee, acute, subacute knee uh, strains and sprains, again, quite an important point uh, to consider with regards to reducing swelling of the knee. So it's one of the distal points you will actually take into consideration uh, with regards to that. Headaches, now it is quite effective for treating migraines and headaches and things like that, but however, something to bear in mind that utilizing this point, if the individual does not have a headache, or a pain, it is a point, on very rare occasion, it can bring it on, but then it will subside. So I use it quite frequently to address um, headaches and things like that. One of the other areas that I use it is with a lot of my athletes, my sports athletes and things, like that, and particularly in preparation for activity. One of the main things the liver does is to bring blood to the muscles and prepare the muscles for activity, more concerned with contraction of the muscles in itself. So liver 3 is one of your main points on the liver meridian that will actually do that and a number of studies have actually te uh, tested that one of the main studies where they actually looked at utilizing liver 3 as the liver meridian opens to the eye and can be utilized for treating eye disorders and things such as that uh, one of the main things that they actually assessed was the circulation to the back of the eye also the circulation into the radial and brachial artery what they found that when stimulating this point here, they found that during stimulation, the circulation to these arteries reduced. Same again, heart rate reduced, and also circulation to the back of the eye reduced. However, shortly following acupuncture treatment, they found that circulation to these areas returned back to baseline, but also improved over and above the baseline reading and same again with the eye. So from that respect you can see how years ago when the Chinese were saying that it is relating to the eyes as how you can see how that relation may well exist. And same again with regards to moving blood in and out of the muscle. So for active muscles, very good point to actually consider on that basis. 
So other areas besides improving uh, circulation is hot flush. A number of studies have actually demonstrated that liver three, particularly combined with other points such as spleen six, large intestine 11, quite effective for treating hot flushes, particularly in cancer patients and postmenopausal, quite an effective point. With it being a Yuan source point and a shim stream point, excellent point for treating trigger points. Any pain along the liver meridian, it will actually address Achilles tendonitis or any of the other uh, trigger points such as adductors, things like that, that may well present itself along the liver meridian. So plantar fasciitis, commonly seen particularly in podiatry and with regards to the plantar fasciitis, uh, if it's affecting not necessarily the plantar fascia but the underlying muscles such as the adductor hallucis and also the flexor digitum brevis, those muscle insertion into the medial calc can be affected. So again, you'd utilize liver three in conjunction with spleen three, spleen six, stomach 36. Those points will help to repair and also help to strengthen at the same time. So quite important to consider those. Now, one of the other key areas in which it's actually used is regards to pain and pain management. So if we will look at one of our other points, um, it, such as large intestine four, liver three and large intestine four combined will actually address pain. So if you look at the location of large intestine four, similar location to how it's actually found on the foot is between the first and second digit. Um, at its highest peak, it's gonna be large intestine four. Those collectively, liver three and large intestine four, known as the four gate. The mechanism is through having an effect on key areas of the brain, such as the hypothalamus. And affecting the thalamus, hypothalamus, what it allows the body to do is to release its own pain-killing um, substance, such as the encephalines, into the circulation. Now, with regards to releasing those substances, then it allows the body to control pain. Now, the important thing uh, with regards to that is the time scale in which it needs to be left in place. So therefore it needs to be left in place for a good 30 minutes or more. So on that, it allows the endorphins to be released into the system and allows it to start to um, reduce pain throughout the um, body in itself. So that's gonna be quite important. In addition to that, it has an effect on the limbic system. Now the limbic system is concerned with hunger and when it key areas is emotions and anxiety and stress is one of those key areas that will actually come with it. So again, it's quite effective, those points collectively, at reducing anxiety and stress. And many studies will actually demonstrate that when combined with other points such as stomach 36, um, other points such as spleen six, pericardium six, heart seven. So quite effective on reducing anxiety. So in one respect, if you've got somebody with acute low back pain, utilizing liver three with a combination of other uh, points that uh, if the person is anxious can help to reduce the pain that much more quicker and more significantly. Thank you for listening. That's um, our point of the day, uh, or should I say point of the week, which is your liver three. Hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully you go away and sort of utilize that point and better understand how you can may well utilize that point within your practice. Thank you.